Is this thing on? Yeah, bruh. Go ahead and set the stage. Alright, so this is the horrific PC upgrade story. Uh, this took place before the holidays. And basically, Todd came to me asking for a favor. Sup, weeb. You're playing 2B again? What do you want? Um, so you know how the OPC got lost during the A13 raid? Yeah, what about it? I was thinking, uh, before Christmas, can we get the computer, like, upgraded? Can we get, like, a new one or something? At this point, I'm the only one working, so I got a bunch of shit around here. So, if Todd wanted to build a new computer or upgrade an existing one, he had to come to me. I knew this was gonna be a hard sell. Dude, fuel sales for this ship ain't cheap, and neither are the groceries in this bitch. I know, I know, but it would help with video production, having some better hardware, and besides, Steam. We got all these games on Steam, we can barely play them right now. Plus, you said you wanted to upgrade the old one at some point now that we had a stable income. That's true, but finding parts ain't gonna be cheap. He was right, but then I had a gamble. It was a risky one, but if it worked, it'd be a win-win, honestly. And I swooped in to save the day. No, you didn't. Okay, what about this? A13 patrols have probably died down around the old hideout, right? Yeah, maybe. What if we went back, see what we can salvage? I, um, borrowed some satellites and did some scans and much of our old home is still intact. Plus, maybe I can get my record collection back. Seriously? Come on, bruh, you saved Todd's trashy waifu. Natsuki is queen. Monica is garbage. Back me up, Edgy. I'm more of a Yuri slash Sayori fan myself, dude. Still, though, all my stuff is gone. <sighs> Alright, we'll go. But at the first sign of trouble, we're warping out. Sweet. Yes! And Todd, since this is your idea, you're paying for the warp fuel on the way back. Fine. So we went to the old house and it turns out Todd was right. Everything but the case and power supply were intact. And I got most of my music. No one fucking cares, dude. You go to hell, Edgy. Anyways, now we had to settle on a case. That was easier said than done. That Dark Base Pro looks pretty nice. That price tag though. But look at all the features, man. It's got a relocatable motherboard tray. Look at all those hard drive slots. Add a built-in wireless charger for your phone, it's worth it. Bruh, we still need a power supply. And you want a hard drive and an SSD? That's gonna break the budget, dude. What about the Enthu Lux? Not bad, got plenty of storage. The exteriors, man, that exterior is whack. Look at this shit. That's flashy. Hell yeah, man. Look at that shit, it's fucking sick. Dude, that's 400, the fuck? Come on, man. We need a bitchin' PC, bruh. What about this? It looks kind of boring. Not a big fan of the militaristic look. You got a better idea? We must have gone through a dozen cases before we settled on one. And it was one that Jeff had found. Oh, I think I just found something cool, bruh. That color's nice. It's got a bunch of SSD mounts. That fan control is pretty cool, too. And it has built-in LEDs for the fans. So you can control them from the... From the, uh, the little console on the on the top there. That carrying handle is pretty nice too. Make it a little easier to carry around. And that color scheme, man. It just screams penguin, dude. Come on. It's got our names on it. Let's get this shit. So we bought the case. And that was the big mistake. But we'll get to that in a second. Edgy and I had to fight over the storage. I was trying to add an SSD and two terabyte regular, you know, desktop hard drives. Well, a two terabyte one. And that was a bit more than Edgy was willing to pay, so we sacrificed the hard drive and just got a 500 gigabyte SSD. I didn't understand a word of that. Of course you didn't. Anyways, we got an 850 watt modular power supply. Now we just had to wait a week. Then the nightmare began. Alright guys, it's game time. Let's open her up. So we got, a, got it out of the case, got out of the box, all that stuff. Thankfully the tempered glass was intact. But then the first sign of trouble appeared. The instructions were as vague as they could possibly be. 
if your manual is so bad, Todd can't figure your shit out. You done some. You done something bad. You done fucked up, son. I I I don't know. They gave us this metal piece with the motherboard standoff screws, but where does this go? Wait, wait. I think I just figured this out. Uh, we use this to screw in the screws for the motherboard standoff. That that makes no sense. Why would you do that? Um. Okay, let's just get this motherboard in. So our motherboard is an ATX, so naturally you think we'd screw in the specified ATX standoffs, right? You know, on the sides where it says ATX? Well, fuck you, that makes too much sense. The screws didn't match where they said they should go. Like, when we tried to put the board in, there were holes for our motherboard that weren't aligned with what we had installed, and then we had screws in places that made it that just didn't work and they were actually um hitting the motherboard um so we must have spent about an hour trying to remove some of the screws so you know we could line it up and match it with the io shield i'm amazed we didn't mess up our motherboard to be honest i still don't understand much of what happened right there no comment <sighs> Okay, we got the motherboard in. Now let's get the hard drives in. Todd, what does our cryptic as fuck instruction say? Hmm. Uh, wait, it says here there's a slot for one drive in the the top slot, uh, right below that thing for a uh, hot swap base for a uh, SSD. Okay, let's start there. I don't think that fits, man. Uh. What the fuck? Why doesn't that fit? Is there another slot? Uh, let me keep looking. This manual is trash. Yeah, almost as bad as Natsuki. Fuck you, Jeff. Your waifu is shit. Now, this is where we realize how in the shit we were with this fucking case. There was no built-in way to install a standard desktop hard drive. In what fucking universe does a full tower case not support a standard fucking hard drive? Calm down, we don't need you melting the parts. I'll go on Google and look this up. There's gotta be a way, right? Alright. Yo, we got any food? I'm starving. Check the goddamn fridge. Uh, all we got is Todd's leftover Chinese. Fuck. <sighs> Guess we're getting takeout. Todd, keep looking. I'll figure out what to eat. Okay. So, while Edgy and Jeff fought between pizza and burgers, I did some digging. Embrace yourselves for this. Oh boy. This case... This case has almost no presence online. The only time we got a match to it was on Newegg and Cooler Master's website, and they were not helpful at all. We got tons of searches for the older version, which was when we checked was like $400 on Newegg and you can only get it from one seller and that kept disappearing and reappearing even as we were looking at it. The, the, the old version had hard drive cages and even a toolbox in the bottom that you could pull out to store extra screws and stuff. The new version is vastly inferior in this regard and all they really added were the SSD mounts and tempered glass. After spending well over an hour and a half looking, I found one video where someone was able to mount it on the left side, but he he didn't show how he did it. So we have to assume that he modded the case somehow. When Todd told Edgy this, I thought he was gonna have a stroke. Are you fucking kidding me? How in the fuck does this make any sense? You got all this goddamn room and I can't put a fucking standard ass hard drive in here? Okay, Edgy, it's not the end of the world. We have an extra hard drive cave. We can't how in the flying fuck does this old case have more than the new fucking one. What is this, AAA gaming? It looks nicer, but it has less content in it. What in the ever-loving fuck are they doing over there? Edgy, you're gonna pop an artery if you keep this up. We can use this hard drive case. I'm sure we can mount it somewhere, right? <sighs> Words cannot even describe how mad I was, but I was about to get worse. Please tell me that fucking fits. Ah. Uh... No. No, the screw isn't long enough. Oh, fuck this day. Can we just order a hard drive bracket? It's about to be the holidays, so it's gonna take another week for that shit to get here. We may have to return this. Well, that's gonna take so fucking long. You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna see if we... I'm gonna see if I can screw this shit in. 
food's ready. About fucking time. I thought it would be a good idea to calm Edgy down when we ate, so I turned on a movie called Let Us Be Evil. I just kind of made him worse. This movie is so dumb. And the ending was so abrupt. It had me looking at Jeff and Todd saying, like, is this it? Like, like did, did, did they just cut the ending or something? Like, what the hell is this shit? It made no goddamn sense. How are the children killing grown ass people like this? I mean, it's not like they were surprising them with like, you know, s stabbing them or something, like sneaking up on them and stabbing them beforehand or like tasing them or something. This is literally a part where a fucking grown ass man gets suffocated by like four 10 year olds. I mean, they're just like somehow able to hold him down without like tasing him or injuring him uh, in any way that would prevent him from, you know, just knocking them off him. And they literally just pull a bag over his head and just choke him out that way. And he just straight up overpowered him. And it's just like, these are like prepubescent kids. What the hell is going on here? Uh, can we get back to the PC, bruh? Fine. So after food, we went back to building. I was hell bent on getting these hard drives installed. And you want to hit a fucked up part of this whole thing? Or one of them? They had support for a disk drive. But not a slot for a hard drive that was anything bigger than 2.5 inches. How does that make sense? Please explain that to me. He spent hours trying to figure out a way to mount this thing. Then I had one. I went through several scraps in the ship and I was just lucky enough to find some screws that could have possibly fit. Uh, we tried several and then we finally got one that fit. And we had to use a washer to secure it and some pliers. But... It, it kept the cage, the cage is there, it's kind of secure, you can kind of move it around if you were to, like, push on it, like, in either direction. But, at least it was kind of mounted, I guess. Uh, the only problem with this is, we can't install the rear dust filter. But, at least we were getting somewhere. Now, we got to problem number three. Motherfucking TKA cables. What kind of goddamn cable is this? Uh, let me see. Uh, it says here TKA cable? I've never seen that. Google it. Hold on. Okay, I found it. Um, there's like a special adapter for it, and this goes into the peripheral plugs on the PSU, which I don't think we have that installed yet. Would have been helpful if the goddamn manual told us that. Do we uh, have this adapter thingamajig? I have no idea. Let me look in the box the power supply came with. While you do that, let me see if I can hook up all, all of our front connectors. We're missing a bunch, so... Wait. Some of these aren't even fucking labeled. What, what the hell is going on with this thing? This damn case was a Russian nesting doll of absolute bullshit. I had to consult our fucking motherboard manual to try and figure out what was what. Like, the plugs where, you know, you know, on your motherboard where you're supposed to hook up stuff and it's like this little area and things are kind of color-coded. The, the damn case manual didn't describe which cable was which, so I had to guess. <sighs> it was blind luck that he actually hooked them up properly, to be honest. It was hitting midnight at this point, and I think we all just wanted to be done and just crash. I managed to hook up everything but the SSD. And then came the moment of truth for that night. This piece of shit better turn on. Fingers crossed, my dudes. All right, on three. If this don't work, I'm ripping through the hall of this damn ship. Okay. Three. This was a legit Christmas miracle. It turned on. Took it a while, but our files were there and everything. However, two out of the four fans that were pre-installed weren't working, and neither were the LEDs. At this point, we all just said fuck it and opened the beers and went to bed. Next day, we came back at it. 
cable management was a nightmare because of where we mounted the hard drives and also there's no PSU shroud, so we couldn't hide shit. Uh, we also figured out how to wire up their main TKA cables and somehow we got everything functional and we're even able to hook up the SSD. The plan was to clone our OS onto it and we still haven't fucking done that because I don't even want to risk messing something up there. But the computer is working. The bottom looks ugly as hell though because of the cables, but it works. We're just gonna have to get more computer dusters since that rear dust filter, we, 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 we can't put it there. Oh, and here's one last kicker. The vertical SSD mounts that they were bragging about on Newegg and they show off on even the Cooler Master page, the way you have to mount them means they're displayed upside down. What's the point of that? I, I don't, I don't know, man. It's a damn shame too, because after we got it set up, this thing looks fucking good. But holy shit. If they ever make another model, they better put some damn hard drive bays in it and get a better manual. What I thought would be like a half day job turned into a two day endeavor. Are you thinking of upgrading? Maybe. Render times on last video were, video were absurdly slow, so I may have to beef it up for editing. I have to figure out what to add to it. Um, would I recommend this case? If you only had SSDs or 2.5 inch uh, regular hard drives in your system, then go for it. Especially if you got the patience. If not, go with the goddamn Anthu Lux or something else, man. There's really not a lot of support online, and that's putting it lightly. And this case also has a tendency to disappear on Newegg and then reappear, and there aren't that many reviews either, which probably should have been a red flag for us, but we just kind of got enamored with the look of it, and that's the main takeaway from this. Don't do that. Um, if you like the aesthetic and... I mean, if you really, really like the way this case looks and you don't mind having to cough up uh, an absurd amount of money and you don't mind tracking it down, go with the older model. It has way more functionality in it. Sure, in my opinion, it doesn't look as nice the way the panel looks and without the tempered glass, but, and you know, that absurd price, but at least it's more functional. Uh, I don't know. I didn't do any building to be honest, so. Uh... But looking at uh, Todd and Edgy, I probably would have got something else. So, uh, anyone want to play Soul Calibur? Yes, yeah, do it. Count me in.